Alright, so Charles put these janky skinny wheels on and he is going to send it. Yeah, you can film from outside. in the semi? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mexico's already has people here. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, we can just move up a bit. What's going on? Look at this guy. There's people already stunting here. Classic Mexico. Looks like we're gonna do some pylon proximity. <laughs> yeah, it looks fun. Let me try. <laughs> oh, damn, you shooting the Mazda, bro? <laughs> damn! Hey, damn! Look at this shot. I'm gonna look at there. Starting to get the hang of it? Yeah, man. It's a little thing. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. He's getting it. <laughs> yep. I want to see this kid smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Tire oh. update. 
Oh, it's still good. Tons. Yeah. say about this man this is new activities <laughs> What is going on guys? Um, so I got jealous of watching Charles drift. So basically what I'm going to do is a little bit of drift prep. Going to be throwing these CR lies from Crits. Uh, shout out to Crits on my fronts. And I'm also going to raise it probably just a little bit. And then I'm going to be throwing the same set that Charles has on his rears on my rears. So and we, should be drift spec. Even our drift tires. Like a all yeah. these tires that we have to burn. Oh yeah. Uh, 18, All 17. these tires, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're we'll gonna be drifting a lot. Yeah, we gotta hook up to a tire bin, so yeah. that's that's cool. nice. Let's go check that out. Buddy. Yeah, we should. All right, guys. So it is the next day now, and um, I only got this side of the the wheels on, so I'm gonna do the other side. It just got too late last night. S15 is getting a little more love. Got the Motul 530. So yeah, I'm gonna let this thing idle for a bit, warm up the oil, and then uh, do the oil change. I also need, I was in the process last night of mounting my seat right, nice and like tight because it was loose. So uh, it's unbolted right now, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to mount that in properly just so I'm not being flung around while I'm skidding. Picked up the oil from Revd Performance. They always hook it up, so if you guys need anything automotive related, Revd Performance, they're your go-to guys. A lot of people have been waiting or asking me to straight pipe the car. I finally found my solution. And <laughs> no, we're past that. <laughs> so uh, I was able to source an Apexi N1 exhaust. Um, I did lots of research and I actually did have one of these um, exhausts on a previous R33 that I had and I really liked the sound of it. So um, I don't know, straight pipe to me is just it's not, I know there's a lot of people out there that do straight pipes and to me it's just not a unique sound. It's not really what I'm going for. So um, luckily uh, we have the resources and uh, I was able to kind of virtually hand pick this exhaust myself. It's an Apexi N1, it's three and a half inches, kept bolt on cat back and uh, can't wait to hear how it sounds. Yeah. Um, me for one, I love like the nostalgia and the history of like these JDM cars so now uh, that we can, uh, definitely uh, yeah now that we can get access to like parts straight out of Japan okay, honestly um, big things are coming in terms of like Japanese parts if any of you guys are looking for parts yeah. um, nice. I was able to source this and get it here like within a week or so yeah. so and like I know a lot of you guys from the states uh, have R32s and they're starting to get 33s and like even the cross parts, like the JDM parts that you can get. Like I know a lot of you guys drifters out there use RB25s, RB20s, like we can source down real authentic like parts for those cars and those engines. No doubt, like, so this is the one that I picked up. Um, it does have like a little bit of wear, like a couple holes here and there, but. That's what makes it Japanese. This, exactly, that's what makes it Japanese. This is like as Japanese as it gets. This yeah. is a discontinued exhaust, so you can't go out and just buy this. Like if you look at it, it's one piece. Man, like the fact that this is here right now. Can't wait to hear how it sounds. Yeah. This is a motherland exhaust. Yeah, look is. at the coloration of the piping too. Mm -hmm. Like the Japanese when they engineer these things, there's yeah. lots of planning and like research that goes into yeah. it to get a certain sound or a certain performance gain. So this is an upgrade over mine. I'm currently running a three inch catback. This is three and a half. And uh, 
I'm gonna leave this resonator in here for now, see how it sounds. It will be louder than my current setup, so that's good. And uh, I think that will keep it reasonable. Yep. So quick before clip right there. Yeah, I think I just found where my exhaust leak was coming from. Look at that gasket is totally gone right there. So I got the new one bolted up. It's so nice having a bolt-on system. Literally like no modification or anything and all the hangers lined up it is missing one hanger right over here in this area but seems to be pretty solid I'm about to do the first start A lot lower, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, your nose, you have like shit all over yeah, your it's face. So <laughs> shit and dirt all over. <laughs> Look at the <this> smile. <laughs> That's fucking dope. That's a lot Following yesterday's activities, David's got his car fully drift spec. Uh, my buddy Calvin's here with his R34, and David's gonna give it a go. So, uh, we put the slimy wheel in uh, David's car because he didn't want the ricey one. So yeah, it was just so weird. If you guys know slimy. those ricey, but like this just feels authentic, you know. Honestly, thing. that wheel's been through a lot. Yeah. But yeah, this and, is my uh, first time uh, drifting, so I'm just gonna like try to start off with the basics, like try going around a pylon or something. Which do we have, by the way? This pylon's there. So and then Mexico, su eventually. Mexico supplied pylons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to hop in your car here. Yeah. So his car <laughs> has the same exhaust that I just put in mine. I'm not taking my car because uh, I've already put my wheels back on, and the other two t drift tire spares are for David to burn. So. What's better for drifting? <laughs> What's better for drifting? I don't know, that's a good question. Closer to full tank? Closer How much does a full tank weigh? Do you know? That should be good, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, every get every ball. last drip. <laughs> if you don't get every last drip, it's not enough. <laughs> to eat first. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Quick McDouble before you drift. Both of you guys are like pretty much first time drifting. He's got a smaller turbo. This is 
<laughs> Excuse alert. to commit to swinging it the other way yeah you need to somehow like get the momentum to kick the back end around right there if you turned into it a little bit more and then back out again yeah that's what i'd kept doing just powering it back into the corner. yeah feels good but fuck that stuff yeah did you have a hard time seeing where like everything was a little bit but it was more just depth yeah like, like the, the depth, depth perception of like, knowing where you are curb and i was going straight i was like fuck it cutting it yeah 